I got that, uh, that problem? Hmm? Yes? Okay, let's think about the other one now. Are you ready for the number two? Ready for the number two? Okay, that's good. At least one, yes? What happened to you guys? What, what's happening to us? From kindergarten to college, what's happening to us? No, we're not getting older, we're getting dead. Anger and sorrow and stress and, and confusion is death, is disease. Laughter is life, laughter. When people cease to cry and to laugh, they become dead. If you want to be alive, you will have to laugh, like a little child. Why don't you come to the garden? We have some booster shots there, you will start laughing. That will change you a little bit. <laughs> All right, what's the answer for two? A, let's see your hand. A, B, C, D, E. How many people don't know the answer? Let me see your hands. Well, you guys you don't go very. Because almost nobody answered anything, and I see all the hands down when I say, how many people do not know? You see? Why you don't operate? If it was my grandson and my granddaughter, they would raise their hands every time I tell them, raise your hand. Why would they do that? And we cannot do it. Why? You're afraid. <laughs> Thank you, Will. <laughs> They're afraid of what? What are they afraid of, Will? They're afraid of getting the wrong answer. They're afraid, they're afraid of failure. They're afraid of failure. Okay, let's see one by one. Which of the following will cause the position of the equilibrium to shift to the left? So we want to go where? This way, right? Adding a catalyst while the available volume are still the same. Adding a catalyst will not change the position of equilibrium. It does change the rate, how fast it will achieve equilibrium state. It does not change the, 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 the yield of the reaction or the relative amount, right? So that's not. Decreasing the volume of the container. If you decrease the volume of the container, what will happen? Let's see. You have liquid, solid, Gas, gas. Okay, so I decrease the volume, I compress it, right? Uh, what will happen? The pressure will go up, it doesn't like it. So how is it going to reduce the pressure? They have less particles, less gases, so it's going to go this way, it's not right. So maybe it looks like that is going to be the answer, isn't it? So now if you want to confirm it, are you confirming it when you take exam? You see, when I was a student, we didn't have this. Ridiculous thing. A, B, C, D, E. You are not machines. We should ask you to write down what you think and talk about it. We have made an education that is only for machines, it's not for people. What's that? It was the same thing the day that that black woman in Chicago, wherever she was, if she was thinking the same way, black people would be treated the same way like they were treated at that time. It would be seen the same way. Well, look, we are black here and white there, so you know, if I get up, they will, I'm going to be in trouble. They will take me to jail or they will leave spit on me, so you better sit down. We learn from history, we celebrate King Martin Luther King, we celebrate Gandhi, we celebrate all these great change, change people that they changed humanity into a beautiful world. We celebrate, right? 
And the only thing we think about is, I got a vacation today, I don't have to go to school. How many of us read the autobiography of Martin Luther King? Who? How many? How many have read the story, the autobiography of Martin Luther King? We know not to go to school, but that day, how many have read the autobiography of Martin Luther King? Think about this. Think about it. Because you came to the university not to go away with numbers, but to understand how the world works and to make it better. Because if we don't understand how the world works, we will never make it better. Our eyes are just on numbers. And sooner or later, we're going to blow up ourselves. And we don't even know we did it. Think about it. Because you are the youth. And if you don't think about it, the adults will never think about it. They have so much to lose. You have the future. If you don't think, your parents are not going to think about it. They have too much to lose. You don't even have a job yet. If you don't think about it, nothing will change. Because from thinking, then you go to action. It's two steps. It's not one. Without thinking and being aware of what's happening, you will never be able to go into an action. And you have to speak without fear. You need to talk. Because if you don't talk, people cannot communicate. That's why we have the time and the words to speak to one another and get together as a community to exchange ideas. How can you do it when you are going like crazy thinking about your grades? How can you do this? There is no time to do it, is there? And then two or three times a quarter comes, Earth Day, picnic day, we blow up our steam to get out our, our stress out. It should be fun every day, not just Earth Day and picnic day should be every day fun, not just two days a quarter. You gave me fuel. You gave me a lot of fuel. Fuel? Yes, fuel. You owe me money. Four dollars a gallon. Thank you. This problem is really easy. If you really want to convince yourself that it's a quantitative reaction we said in lecture, you just calculate the equilibrium constant. It's very easy. Right? It's a combination of two equilibrium constants that you know, water and uh, weak acid, right? So you can calculate the equilibrium constant as a function of two other equations, and you find out that it's really large, right? 10 to the fourth or something. So it's a quantitative reaction, right? Another way to see it is this base is much stronger. This is the this is the base, right? Just a minute. This is the base. This is the acid. Where's the where's the conjugate acid? Here, conjugate acid. And this is the conjugate base. So compare with base and base. So this base is much stronger than this base, and this acid is stronger than this acid. Do you remember that the hydronium ion is a st stronger acid, all the weak acids, and weaker than all strong acids. Do you remember that? Hydronium ions is here. All the strong acids are up there, and the weak, are weak, the weak acids are below. Yes? So this is stronger than any other weak acid. Stronger. This is stronger than that. And the acetate is stronger than water, base. So from strong to weak, from strong to weak, <coughs> it is a quantitative reaction, right? Now, we already answered number four. Do you agree with that? Yes? We already answered it, didn't we? You remember? Hydronium ions, right? The stronger acids, the hydronium ions are the strong acids. The weaker acids, the hydronium ions are then? Weak acids, that's it. You remember the table? There's another thing that is nice to know, and usually it's not in almost any book, and it's really important. The stronger acid that can survive in water is what? How many people are not from my section? Let me see your hands. How many people are not from my section? Let me see your hands. 
We have said that election maybe you have not heard it, but because usually it's not in the books. Um, but it's good to know. 